Okay, you guys, so, hey, I wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to talk about, um, a recap on our July readings from last year during that Venus retrograde, right? Um, I feel like I'm getting styes about to come, but hopefully not. It'll be itching sometimes. I gotta be careful, especially with that mascara and stuff. That means it's time for me to take a break from mascara. Um, so, ooh, chilling, right? Uh, so let's recap on the July Venus retrograde. So from what I remember in Venus, during Venus retrograde, um, at the beginning of Venus retrograde, those readings, uh, I, a lot was coming up for me in regards to uh to my first love, my ex, the one that I had um lost my virginity to, right? And I told y'all I was getting the download at that time that oh the big ass moth. I don't wanna kill it though. The moth. That's a symbolization for something. We're gonna look at that later. Um I kinda wanna let it stay. Um, so anyways, sorry. Oh, do y'all see the lantern? I want to show you how bright it is. Let me turn this one off so you can see how bright. You see, it lights up and it changes colors. So, it has a charger. You can charge your phone. But the charger runs the thing. You see that? Okay, I can have any little vibe, Okay. What nigga want to hang out with me in my van? <laughs> okay, period. <laughs> I can do the same thing with this light, okay? I can do it. Uh, I can see. I can make it rainbow. Okay. Ooh, a little purple. Let's do a little purple today. Okay, so... <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but. Tell your mama, gymnast. <laughs> she said, I can move it up and down. I can move it in circles. Tell your mama, gymnast. Uh, 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 uh. I love some Sierra, okay, as a dancer. Um, Old school. I just saw a post on Instagram that said, Music ain't been the same since uh, Jazzy Fizzle ain't put his production shizzle in it. <laughs> since he, did, he ain't did another production shizzle in a minute, so music ain't been the same. And I'm like, so true. <laughs> so true. Because I feel like there's a difference in the energy of how Sierra moves and dances. Um, then versus now. Uh, I think it's very like high pace too much now compared to back then where she was so controlled i love how okay so for me with dancing my goal and my vision for how i want to strengthen and train myself to get back into dance is to be more controlled than to be like fast and hitting moves and doing pa 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 ta 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 right as cool as that shit is is not my style um but i love a very good controlled dance right and so with sierra her flexibility and her control and her ability to have like wide hips and those hips open i loved how back in the day right like think about promise right there's nothing I won't do to spend my life with you. What is it? I give to you. I promise that I will never let you go. I think I was listening to that song every time. There's nothing, nothing I won't do. Ooh. Okay, so, um, right, comment on the right, but how she danced in that song, right? Ooh. 
Honestly, I could even say body party. She had a nice control. Um, but I love the smoothness of kind of like her one, two step and things like that. Or like, oh, da, da. but you see the beat, that jazzy production, how he produces his song, the beat, right? Oh, dun, 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 right? Dun, 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 right? Like, what is it? Um, everybody, one, two, step, rock it. Don't, but I'm trying to get that beat that he has. Like, don't, 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 I can't, I can't mimic it. I gotta hear it. Um, but that beat he do, not her melody, but the beat he does, right? Um, it's very, like, it gives pauses, like, like, right, da, da, da. we about to get it on, right, um, I don't know, y'all, I'm just, <laughs> sorry i'm just in my head uh i just like like i just liked how she just her movements back then even for um i would say love sex and magic i like that song love and sex and magic i like i just love her as a fucking dancer <laughs> my friend my homeboy he the way like i i appreciate it but he goes to another level like that nigga knows the 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 choreographer he be knowing the dancers he be knowing like all that shit like we used to like he be he'll pull up because he lived in a, like we live but we both lived in the jays <laughs> but he used to he'd be like he'll text like let's go out <laughs> like, all right let's go he the only nigga i like kidnap me okay he the only person who could get me out the house okay <laughs> that's the only nigga who can get me out the house and he'd be like where you been and i'd be like all right i've been here <laughs> where you been and we always somewhere near each other we always live close but we don't never see each other <laughs> until one random day and in that random day we'll spend the whole day together and i probably won't see him again for i don't know how long <laughs> I don't fucking know how long I won't see him again. <laughs> and we will connect again. And it will be like we ain't we ain't ain't never see uh never just departed before ever before. Okay. <laughs> I miss my friend. I gotta go find him. I'm gonna find him on Instagram or something. Like, nigga, where you been? Where you at? <laughs> Let's do something. Let's create. Let's record. Let's dance. A bitch is ready. Cause I'd be like, all right, let's dance. He'd be like, all right, let's go. And I'm like, all right, well, let's, let's, how about we do it tomorrow? <laughs> and he be like, bitch. <laughs> and he be so frustrated with me because he be like, let's go. Like, I, I, he's always training. He's always training. And I be the bullshitter. I, like, I be the bullshitter with dance. But then I be more technical and he's more hip hop. So it's funny. Um, but back to me, I want to get back to being in control. Like I want to work on my control. That's what I was getting in. That's what I was doing in the gym. I was working on like control of my muscles, control of my movements, like, like taking the, the, the lap down, going real slow and taking my time going up. Like even when I'm doing like curl ups and bicep curls and tricep curls and all of the things, I like to go really slow. So I'm not really caring about the reps that I'm doing. I'm just going really slow right like taking my time to go right and so i want to get back into some hip openers i want to get into some yoga like focus more do some more yogas focusing on my hips um opening my hips back up strengthening you know right now my fucking it's like swollen okay because of like just straining it from with my uncle okay and this fucking wheelchair bro and it started with my cousin and fucking pushing him in a fucking wheelchair my nigga so all those things right um i saw family yesterday it was good seeing i went to go do my rounds yesterday you know um went to go see my stepdad it was cool like i thought i was gonna be sad and shit like that but i wasn't um but homie knocked like i don't feel no spirit there like i'm like that nigga dead like he gone 
that nigga gone. Like, I don't feel no... Sp like, I felt... When I saw him last year, I felt like this much... Like, his his light was probably, like, this much on, right? Like, I felt his spirit was almost gone. That's why I was so glad that I saw him then. And I got to talk to him. I got to give him a hug, you know? And we just talked and chat, and it was cool. And so seeing him now when we saw him yesterday I went with my mom now baby girl got guilt <laughs> but I'm cool right she's like oh <laughs> she like squeeze my hand <laughs> squeeze my hand <laughs> and I'm like girl he did he's not about to squeeze your hand and only why she said that was because um my his niece said that he squeezed her hand but he was blinking like, he was blinking or whatever, but, like, one eye was taped down, and he was, like, <laughs> blinking in his eye, but he gone. Like, I don't feel no spirit. Like, I could tell when somebody is dying, right? Like, if they're dying, I could feel that all in my gut. Like, I could feel it, like, my respiratory. Like, it's hard to digest the energy, um when I'm around them, right? And so that's why when I when I saw my cousin, when my mom had FaceTime me with my cousin, I had the emotion erupted because I because she was her body was leaving, right? Like the spirit was still there. The spirit was there. My stepdad, you know, it it, it was already gone. And I think that I probably seven years ago, right? I think I had already grieved the loss of his him his presence in my life, um, because I was around the time of my spiritual awakening and I had like major depression because I I was losing a lot of connections. Right, that was the time where I lost the connection with my mom. That's the time I lost the connection with my best friend. Um, that's the time I lost the connection with my stepdad. Right, like all those major change, like those codependent connections that I had was ripped apart. Right. But getting back into the Venus retrograde. So with the Venus retrograde, I told y'all about, like, my experiences when it comes to, like, my insecurities of, like, comparison and thinking that. And at that time, at that time, when I was talking to y'all and sharing with y'all, I was coming from a place of low self-esteem, right? Like, having this really low self-esteem about in regards to, like, I can't compete with another girl. Like, and when it comes to another girl and me competing for a guy's attention... The guy is going to always choose that girl. And so that fear had came up and evoked at the time when I found out that uh, King of Pentacles had a girlfriend, right? Um, or was or messing with some girl or whatever, right? Because he had accidentally ca called me. No, he had called me um, accidentally. He always accidentally calling me. <laughs> He don't never, that's how his ass, his ass always get caught because <laughs> he always either say something, he always confesses something or he always accidentally do something or he slip up or some shit, right? And so he called me with the intention of calling someone else, I guess his girl, right? And so it was around that time with that whole commotion and me allowing him to gaslight my my reality of that, right? And 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 believe it in his lie, even though I knew it was bullshit, right? But I just ignored that red flag or whatever. Um, that blaring alarm, <laughs> right? When spirit told me at that time, leave this boy alone. And I went against it. And that's why I had to go through the whole shenanigans. Either way it goes, I was always going to go through the shenanigans of having to separate from him. Like, every time Spirit tells me to separate from him, it just crushes my heart, right? And then um, when Spirit be wanting to be like, okay, now it's reconciliation. Now it's union, reunion. Now it's union time and all these things. I'll be like, don't, don't do that. Like, don't. Especially right now. I'm like, I... I'm okay. Like, keep him wherever the fuck he at right now. Like, I have no desire. Like, like I just don't have no desire to really be on the phone with him or talk to him or anything like that because I feel like it's just the same shit, right? Like, I don't want another fucking conversation on the phone. Like, <laughs> it better be in person. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is the only how I'm going to really be receptive to, to a, a, a reconciliation if, if it's the tip is through person. Because I cannot do another 
FaceTime phone shenanigans. I just can't. Um, because to me, it's just gonna. I'm just gonna think that it, it's a repetitive cycle. It's just gonna be just, um, and so getting back into it. Um, so you say you wanna get away. You wanna play, you wanna escape. Take you to a timeless place. Oh. Mm -hmm. Take you to a private island on a different continent. You can take a <laughs> listen to the waves. <laughs> I could be your fantasy. <laughs> um. So anyways, getting back into it, right? So I was so at that time I was coming from such a low spot and like a a, a so low self worth within myself to where I was like, you know, like he's obviously he's gonna choose this girl, like obviously like like I have nothing at that time I was like, I have nothing to compete with and at that time I was tearing myself down. I was like, I don't have no and I'm like, I don't have a job. Like, I can't go get my nails done. I'm like, I don't feel sexy because I can't wear no sex. I can't, I don't have, I can't afford to wear no lingerie. I can't afford to get my toes done. I can't afford to have, get my hair done. I can't afford this, that, and the third. Thinking that I had to be everything that I, that wasn't me to, to compete. And now, I'm going to say that, like, a year later, but what is it? July. <laughs> Y'all know I like to count on my fingers, okay? <laughs> but it's August, September, October, November, December. Where we at? January, February. On this eighth month, that eight, that Leo, right? That eight energy, that abundant energy. Eight months later, eight symbolizing wisdom, right? Um, eight months later. And I'm seeing and I'm noticing and I'm realizing that <laughs> I don't give a fuck, right? And so like, okay, so like, for instance, right, Spirit had revealed to me someone he has just recently is, who is he right now is talking to, right? Uh, dating or, or in a relationship, I don't know, right? And baby girl is gorgeous, stunning. Had I seen that last year, had I seen that in July, oh, it would have, it would have crushed me, okay? I would have torn me apart had I seen that last year. But I saw it this year around the time where I really fuck with me. And I keep, and I'm so enamored and so into me that I don't even care he, I don't care how beautiful, how bad, how rich, how whatever bitch he entertained. I do not give a fuck because I am so into me, right? Like I'm so into me right now and I'm having fun creating, doing adventures, exploring on my own. Like I'm just, and then what I noticed today, that spirit revealed to me today was that was like, nigga, spirit was like, nigga, you treat you so good like you date as a as a romantic partner to yourself you treat you do so good with you like you take you on pick like and then i thought about it i was like you know there's nothing that there's no date that he could take me on that i haven't taken my cell phone right and so like there's there's nothing that there's nothing that a man can come and lure me in with right now aside from sex <laughs> but i also do fuck me good too okay i'm <laughs> just saying <laughs> there's there's nothing that they that they they do that i i don't do on my own to me for me like i take me to farmers markets sometimes sometimes i'll take myself to a farmers market and shop and drop a bag right Sometimes I take me on nice walks on the beach, sunrise, sunset, okay? Give myself picnics. I will pack a lunch and go on a picnic, okay? I will go to lunch at a place, okay? Um, 
I <laughs> I do candlelight dinners of my own for me, right? <laughs> like there's I run bubble baths and put rose petals in the bubble bath in the bath for me. I buy me flowers. I buy me flowers all the time. I go to the movies if I want to go to the movies. I buy me tarot cards if I want. I splurge on me when I do splurge, okay? I just haven't really been splurging on me within the last few months to a, to a certain degree, right? But I, you know what I mean? Like... I, I I do things, a lot of things, and not, that's not saying that whatever a guy does for me, I'm not going to be appreciative, right? It's not saying that. It's just just the realization, because I saw a post that talked about solo, cute solo dates you could do for yourself. And everything that they list, I was like, these are things that I do for myself on a regular. Like, I take me to museums, okay? I take me to flower gardens. I take me to, to fucking concerts. I take me every, and it be by myself. Like, it don't even be with no friends no homegirls no nothing i really be fucking with me i've taken me on weekend vacations okay i've taken me i've taken me to sedona a few times right i've taken me camping <laughs> i have given me myself outrageous outlandish moments and so you gotta add to my spontaneity you can't can't you know, but the thing that I actually really want from from a lover, surprisingly, and this is not saying like, oh, this is me uh, want like a being a pick me with a bare minimum. But no, what I want from a lover is intimacy, is closeness, is like attentiveness, right? Um, vulnerability and being able to like have cuddle dates. That's actually what I will want with a dude is with a dude that I really want to be with right is this is not someone that I'm just like fucking with like whatever we could just go do something but I don't want to go hiking I don't want to do nothing I don't even want to go to the beach I don't want to be in nature I what I want to be is in bed with you right in bed we order food give me a lot of weed smoke me out and give me shrooms feed me okay and cuddle the whole time physical touch like i need that like physical intimacy like like beyond me like you know what i mean like be all up on me like all day <laughs> for a whole weekend like that's a whole night a whole day it could be a whole day you know because especially now that i'm taking care of elderly and shit but stuff like that, like that's what I will I will want from a lover, not what I thought what I thought that a lover would want, right? Because at that time in July, I was like, damn, I don't really have the clothes, like I don't really have the money like that to be buying the clothes for fancy restaurants. Because I'm like, I I don't I'm not really in that vibe right now. Like I'm like I'm not in a vibe for the fancy restaurants. I don't want to go, like, I, like I told y'all before, like, I just, I'm burnt out on restaurants. I don't want to go to restaurants anymore. I don't, I've been going to restaurants my whole life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I strangely stumbled across wealth. Like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I be telling y'all be having zero dollars in my own pocket, but I be having a very wealthy experience with life, okay? <laughs> I live, I live like a rich girl with zero dollars okay <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um but yeah um so <laughs> uh what was i gonna say y'all i can't wait to have the money up because i'm finna have all the kids I'm finna be like, all right, kids, like everybody, kid, come. We finna go. To, we finna go somewhere. We finna go on a trip. We, I'm finna. Y'all finna have some fun. What y'all want to do? Y'all want to take some music classes? What y'all want to take? Like, let's go, y'all. You want to see? You want to? You want to pay? You want to do this? You want to that? Let's go, y'all. Let's 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 create a band. Like, <laughs> have all the kids bring some boss instruments and just have the kids come and just jam session and they learn on their own, self taught how to fucking just jam and they just 
rock and I just they just have fun. Like, you know, you have that that one cousin that come and just have all the kids. That's how I want to be. Like, I want to have all the kids. Um, that was random. But getting back into this July thing, right? So then I told you about the download about the ex. And I told you that your ex is coming back. As you're simultaneously learning how to 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 navigate a new relationship, navigate genuine love, right? This newness of like, oh my God, this is somebody I really want to spend my life with, right? As you're navigating the uncomfortableness of, of this new version of, of experience, right? You're also simultaneously is going to be tempted, disturbed, annoyed by an old experience by an old spirit by an old entity right by an ex <laughs> and so i was watching spiritual ex um reading and i had to pause when she started she started mentioning michael myers and i had paused the 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 the, the readings and then i had to come here so it was like okay pause it record real quick and then go back to her reading and so when she talked about michael myers and her reading so in her the the video she was talking about this ex who was like if i can't have you nobody else can now i told you guys about my experience with my ex in july during the venus venus retrograde and how insane he was at that time right now, this man is incredibly, incredible. Like, there is a version of cute possessive, and then there's there's a lunatic, right? And so he's on that borderline lunatic. He's that, okay, so with the King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles, my, literally up until, up until, remember I told you, up until December, I have been having this fear and this like, constantly like asking him questions trying to like gauge things with him in regards to seeing if he's abusive right and the fact that he had a history of being a pimp had even exacerbated that fear for me and thinking oh my god this man is going to just destroy me but then remember i told you guys i ended up meeting going on a date with the king of swords and the king of swords was the one who showed me that how different an abuser is versus the the king of pentacles right and so what i wanted to talk about today is control versus abuse what is the difference between a person just being a control freak versus somebody being abusive so the king of pentacles is a control freak okay <laughs> he a control freak and that shit oh that should be sexy as fuck to me okay i love a controlling nigga like it's so fucking like i told you i love a man okay i love an alpha man and alpha men are control freaks Okay, they have to have control over everything. They have to have control over their environment and things like that. That's why they're going through this ego death with that and learning how to relinqu relinquish control and rely on the divine, rely on spirit. But that is the hardest thing that you guys are going to have to do in your spiritual awakening as men or as we as women, our thing and what spirit want us to work on is actually taking all of these visions and dreams and ideas that we have and plant them and manifest them into the physical reality and for you guys is okay detach from all that you see in the physical reality and trust your goals get lean back into being a visionary lean back into your to your your creative side which is something that you guys have aside from like you know because rap rap is more logical it's more uh a right brain right is more like just wordsmith uh, whereas painting is more uh, that left brain is more that emotionalness right and so getting back into it you all getting back into it um so yes so the king of pentacles is a control freak he has daddy energy so spirit had revealed to me that what he has is a father energy and so certain men just naturally 
can father and parent people, right? Just as some women have just mother energy. Like I have mother energy, right? Like I have like, I, everywhere a woman is, like I'm going to mother anybody. I'm a mother, uh, yeah. Like, you know, that's why I'm like the mom friend, right? And so he had, I, I even told him like, you got like that daddy, that family man energy, right? So he has daddy energy. And so for him, and I've talked to him about this in regards to like, how did he end up starting his journey of being a pimp and things like that, right? Um, with talking to him about that, uh, it was cool. He was like, it, it actually was just them naturally grab, they, them asking me, them approaching me, right? And it was because he is trusted, you know, there's negative connotations towards the pimp of being abusive. A lot of times we associate a pimp with being a human trafficker and things like that. But there's also the other ones where they take, they make sure they give them structure, they give them guidance and things like that. If you look at Cat Williams, he gives the women structure, guidance, things, and, and you know, and things of like that man presence, right? A lot of women, we really need that male presence man father presence especially if that is absent in your life and so that's the energy that he gets and so every time I talk to him he comes with me through a wisdom of kind of like a thought of like a father right of like no maybe you should be a little bit more logical with this maybe you should try this hey you you're you need to step it up you need to step your game up you you know you're slacking you're not at your fullest potential like you you're getting comfortable you're getting sidetracked and he tells me things at the right moment even whether I like to hear it at the time sometimes it irritates the fuck out of me right like the fuck you don't know me and, and things like that but that's the reason why I love for me personally just me I love a control freak because I'm such a free spirit. Like I have to, like my free spiritness, my go my mission and goals is always to dismantle a system, right? To go against the grain, to go against uh, authority. And so if I'm with somebody who doesn't have authority, it's not fun because you're not giving me a challenge. You're not... Um, you're not stimulating my free spiritedness. But if you're a control freak and you have these bounds and these boundaries and you have all of these things, it turns me on because it lures me to wanting to 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 rebel against it. Right. So I always want to rebel against them. And it's so oh, it's just so sexy. And then when you see him just be so like demanding. Oh, like. Oh, because he just be talking so passionate. Oh, like, <laughs> horny now, just thinking about it. Like, he just be talking so passionately, and I just be like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> right? And sometimes I just like to rebel just to, just to hear it. And it's, that's different than somebody being abusive. And so I told you guys when I had went on that one-week date with that King of Pentacle, with the King of Swords, him, I saw the energy of abuse clear. Because of with abuse, they're tearing you down. They're they it's coming from a man who is insecure, right? It's not coming from the man who is sure of himself. It's coming from the man who hates himself, right? And so when he hates himself, he has to make sure that you hate you too, right? And that's with anybody. Anybody who hates themselves wants you to hate you too. And so if they see that you love you, they're going to do whatever it takes to, to, to tear you down to make sure that you hate you. So that then you could see them as worthy and you will want to stay with them, right? And tolerate whatever comes with them. And so her, her spiritual Lex's uh, message, her title was, if I can't have you, nobody else could. So I told you guys, spirit gave me the download that my ex is coming back. And he said that when you, the moment you get into a relationship, you get into your serious relationship, he's going to come back and he is going to wreak havoc and he's going to cause all of these things and he's going to want to own and possess you not because he wants you but because he don't he wants you to want him he likes how it feels when you want him right because if you don't want him then he will feel like well damn sh i always thought that afterwards i always at least i'll always have her right like that safety like like oh i know she loved me like when i'm ready done with the streets i could go to her and so I, so none of these rejections from other, these other girls matter because I know there's one bitch who's crazy about me. But if that bitch no longer crazy about you,
then you really gonna be like, damn, I ain't got nobody who's gonna love me and, and gonna be a catch. So I'm gonna have to be actually be better than who I am, right? And so, um, so he's gonna come back with the vision. And it, remember, Spirit told me, calm your temper, don't evoke his psychoticness, right? And so I have a lot of issues with communicating and talking with the King of Pentacles. There's things, there's simple scenarios, right? Simple situations that, and simple problems that we, me and him have that could easily be resolved through a simple conversation. A simple like, hey, wop de wop I don't like da 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 Or, hey, can you clarify da 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 for me, right? But I don't. I just go and find and seek the answers myself through through thinking, right? The reason why I don't <laughs> is my. The reason why I don't is because I I had a lover who used to like any type of altercation would flinch at me, right? Uh, make motions of like, bitch, I will kill you. <laughs> And so, when you dealt with a person who was who had the that, if I stayed longer, eventually probably like within a, a, a by the end, if I stayed like maybe six months longer in that connection, he definitely would have been whooping my probably started putting his hands on me. Um, I don't think I would have. I don't know. I don't know if I would have stayed or not for that. Um, I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you about young me uh but yeah so that so there was a lot of healing that came out from from that relationship right and so now looking fasting forward to now i don't feel anything nothing from that relationship harming me or scaring me or having me fearful of this new relationship like nothing from that relationship has me uh scared and timid anymore about starting this new one right and so before it did if before it freaked me out and i was just like not ready really to be in a committed relationship with king of pentacles and so um and not to top it off i don't know yeah it was just yeah and so it's cool now just looking and seeing like i could easily be in a relationship with the king of pentacles and fully trust him because i feel like i know him enough now right whereas when you first get to know a person that first week that second week that first month is it's hard and so me and my cousin was talking yesterday and i was having a conversation with her and we was talking about like her engagement and things like that and i told her i said have you noticed how much ease this is compared to the one with your your with this other dude that she had was really into she was like oh my god she was like yes she was like and she was like and just like the way he listens to me like she was just talking about different things and she was like it feels good to have like a man you could depend on and i said you know we ain't never seen that and she was like i know right and so just her and i have both being able like i i know that i could depend on that man right like there is nobody in this world that i feel like like anytime i'm thinking the the first thought i think is like i want to call him i want to text him like i like text him like hey this is my location like hey this is where i'm at like hey this is da -da -da -da. like i know that like i just i could trust him like i i could trust him with that right like i could trust him with like my livelihood like i could be like i know that i could live with this man and know that he ain't gonna kick me out on the street like that like oh some shit like that like that's how i like i know that i could put my all into trusting him um because i know he not gonna like now he be bullshitting <laughs> don't get it wrong but that's that's just one little that's just a little part of like where we at in our in our connection right like we're not a, a couple yet we ain't been official a couple yet right we, we were just getting to know each other but you know you'd be like bitch that's mine <laughs> but anyways <laughs> um i know that like 
that's how I'm like, that's it. Because I know that to me, that's the person I know I could just count on. Like, I could just count on him. And I know that even if I don't talk to his ass and he annoyed with me, I know that if I really needed him, he'd be there for me. Um, Even when I be mad and emotional and don't be thinking that he would. But I genuinely feel like if I really, really needed him, he would. And I just think that's dope that, that that's a, a bond that we just kind of like. Because I feel like it's vice versa. It, it's the same. Like, if I got it, he got it. Like, what you need, I got <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what you need, I got Um, If I got it, you got it. Um, You know what I mean? And not hold nothing to it. Not, it, it, and it, it yeah, like. And if he was, if he lost his job and he needed somebody, like, I'd work, I'd work, okay? I'll hold it down for him. I don't do that for no other nigga, right? And that brings me to the difference between raising a man and supporting a man. Raising a man is raising, a, is taking, is when a guy operates as, with, treats his own life as though somebody else should be taking care of it, right? As though it's like his mom should be giving him like, here, I'm going to sign you up for your doctor's appointment. I'm going to phone speed you this information. I'm going to do this, that, and the third for you. Hold your hand. And while you pout, you mope, you're disinterested in it. You're not really putting your time and effort in it. But I'm over here signing you up for school, but you have to ask in the school. And shit like that. That's raising a man. It's like you having to do this manual labor to help get him on his feet. And he has no motivation and no drive to do so himself. He might want to stay at one job forever. The same friends forever and ever and ever and ever. But he'll never want to try and venture out and do anything on his own. Nothing. And he has a whole attitude. He pouts, you know, he had a temper tantrum. He's the dude that, that you be like, hey, come say hi to such and such. They don't say hi. They ignore you. They mad because you got to go, They because they want, because you like, hey, can you put, get the groceries for me? They mad at that, right? Those are usually the energies of raising a man. Supporting a man is no matter what circumstances he's in, you're like, hey, I'm going to give you a word of encouragement. What do you need? Okay, I found this book to help you with whatever your situation is. Or here's this site for this. I found this piece of information. Is this helpful for you? Uh, you know, do you need me to help you fill out something? Um, here, when you get here, you give me those forms. I'll fax those out for you. Oh, here, I'll dock up and edit your resume if you needed to. Okay, what what you said you wanted it, this job okay babe like well what what kind of requirements do they they're looking for you to have oh do you have to go to school okay well let's see how much the school costs okay cool 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 all right what you got okay i got this all right i'll pay for it all hell yeah just go and you you excel in this shit like that it's like, okay you focus on that i got the kids uh, you know, you do this, that, and the third. I got it. But you hust, you you grinding. You doing this. You doing that. That's supporting the man who has his own mission. I just saw a short where Desi was talking about how he was trying to do this, that, and the third. His girl couldn't give him a haircut, and and um, all he did it was a haircut to pay his phone bill. And I said, <laughs> I ain't never felt so seen. My little fifty dollar phone bill is all I. It's the only bill I got. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay and just let me paint <laughs> but um and build my youtube okay dang <laughs> um but yeah <laughs> Look, this moth been trying to climb this rope for the longest. I'm just watching it. And I don't want to kill it. It just seems like a beautiful spirit. I just want to let it out. <laughs> it just seems like a beautiful spirit. But I also need it to go before I go to bed, okay? Because, <laughs> mm, mm We both can't be in here flying and shit. All right. Um, 
<laughs> um, but yeah. It was different. So getting back into so I just can't believe how like how much of a change since that Venus retrograde had happened that like how I am right now and where I'm at, right? Even just with beauty and and it's funny because I so yesterday there was a picture and it showed um there was a picture of me and my cousin at my mom's wedding. Um, and it was me, her, and my mom. And in the picture, I was like, oh, my God, look how thin I was. Like, look how small I was in the eighth grade, right? Even though I, I looked older. Like, I looked like I, sh I was in high school. But my cousin was in high school. My cousin was a senior in high school. And I was about to be a freshman in, in high school. And... I always look I always look older than her anyways. I always I have more of like an older essence to me than her than she does anyways. But excuse me. <laughs> like <laughs> no, but um I was thinking about like how small I was then. And at that time just thinking it just so huge and so gigantic and things like that. And so just looking at those kind of concepts of, of self-image and, and all the things. But, oh, uh, but yeah, so looking at that and looking at and seeing how, like, how my mom was at that, at that time towards me and the things that she would say towards me, um, how it shaped my ideas of how I looked beauty wise right and i told y'all i had the issues with not only my mom but also my ex in regards to beauty um and both of them like making it feels like just an, an ogre right and how now fast forwarding to now and seeing like me being more like accepting and receptive to compliments every time i'm going out and and seeing me like being a little bit more confident in how i post on instagram and and things like that right um, and really feeling more comfortable in my beauty and not looking, not always looking for the validations, knowing that in certain places it wasn't going to come, not because I was ugly, but because of the insecurities of the, of, of the women around me. And sometimes it's a lack of compliments you receive that lets you know just how gorgeous you are. It's not always about how many compliments you get, girl. Uh, sometimes they will purposely not compliment you, okay? But getting back into this. So this man is coming back, okay? And I already told you how, you know, that King of Swords nigga... Shit, you know, I had to fucking move, y'all. You know, I experienced like, I need you to get the fuck up out your place. You can't live over there no more. You can't go over there no more. I don't want you going, to, like, I go to the, uh, I'll do my altar over there, but sometimes, but spirits like, don't go back over, to, don't go back to South Central. I can't have you over there no more. Um, if so, and spirits like, you know, I don't go to the beach that often like that. Um, she was like, don't be going, you know, don't be going over there and don't be doing those this side and the third. So I've been laying real low, like low key and kind of going at odd times, places and shit like that. But, um, but yeah, spirit, spirit's like, I need you low key. Okay. From these niggas. Uh, but there's like, I told y'all, like, I got to get out of LA. <laughs> LA is not the safest place for me. But because I could feel, you know, I could feel them looking for me. One, he's kind of stopping. The King of Swords is kind of slowing down, right? Like, he he almost over it. Like, what's this? This is March. After Aries season, he'll be over it, right? But there's one 
He on a prowl looking for me. And I told y'all I had left my apartment. This is why I keep fucking moving, bitch. <laughs> this is why I keep moving, okay? <laughs> okay, I had to get out of my apartment because that man was stalking me. <laughs> so, um, you know, he gonna find me again, okay? He about to find me. Um... And it's, and I have a feeling that it's going to be through my mama. <laughs> it's going to be through my mama. Or my auntie. My auntie gonna be, will be the dumb one to, to get my number and shit. Um, so, brace yourself for that the lunatic coming, right? Um... Cause ain't no telling, and he like he an alcoholic. You know, last time I, I last time I seen him, he was heavily drinking, like heavy, heavy drinking. So I could only imagine what it what is at now, and what level of entitlement and shit. And also, you gotta understand his level of attractiveness towards me but also we know like i told y'all <laughs> how they be like it the booty the booty i told you these men like the booty but they they like to pretend like they don't okay so the king of swords okay so the king of the king of wands is bisexual he just don't know sometimes he just down low on low 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 he on a secret the king of swords oh big fucking big fucking dick big fucking sucking and and and, and sticking and and, and and licking and digging <laughs> big sticking and digging in energy okay big um trans all the things them the ones that would date a trans woman and then kill her they get caught saying that she the one who who tricked him when he knew he knew okay that's the king of swords you gotta watch out for them you better watch out okay but uh, yeah but that <laughs> These men, they coming for me, okay? They, <laughs> there's two of them. And they both big and, they so strong. It's big and strong. Ugh. Big and strong, honey. And that tells you the difference. Like I told you from an alpha man and a man that, because the reasons why a lot of us don't want an alpha man is because of the fear of that abuse. But like, what, like, what we have to realize is that it's the better man who is the abuser. It ain't never the alpha man. The alpha man, he ain't never putting his hand on his woman. All he got, he know, all he got to do is give her a look, give her a voice. I said stop. He know I'ma shut the fuck up. I don't even want to push, press and push him because he's such a sweetie pie. Okay, that's such a sweetie pie. Okay, such a sweetie pie. I love that one. That one's such a sweetie pie. That's where my little heart and soul is, honey. What have you done to me? I can't eat. I cannot sleep. And I'm not ashamed anymore. And I don't know what to do. Because only one, some of you. And I'm not a but I do the time. No, I can't turn away. I feel today. I feel today. <laughs> why can't I wanna walk through your door? And I give you but yeah as these unions is coming the exes honey are finna act a motherfucking fool 
These exes are about to act a motherfucking fool. And Spirit said, don't fall for their trap. Do not fall for the track of the narcissistic abusive ex. They'll say anything to get you back up under their web. Do not fuck up a good thing for that ex. They do not want you back. They will just put you through nothing but hell. You better go on. If you want heaven, you better go on with your new boo. Go on start that new, the new, new. Remember, T.I. in the beginning, in the beginning of ATL, T.I. was dating that other girl, okay? That fine bitch that we all love, okay? We all loved her back in the back back day okay she was all our crushes back in the back back day okay she was in the music video with the drew hill song that i keep chanting you know my time wasn't enough you know my heart wasn't enough i heard she dating her little young ass nigga right now i'm like i'm blaming her go ahead girl do your thing i've been thinking about this little youngin my damn so i kind of want some i'm like i you just see this is the thing about my coochie my coochie is very healing and like it's going to like evoke a spiritual awakening. So a lot of times spirit only gives me shamans. Sure, spirit only allows shamans to fuck me. Okay. Um, right now. Because they're the ones who who are already open and receptive to that. And so I can't really like I'd be having a really hard time trying to fuck dudes who aren't on a spiritual journey, on a spiritual path, because it's like Now I did find me a little, a little one that I think I might like right now. I don't know. We are gonna see. But he's spiritual too. Like I like shaman, so I'm about to start really fucking with spiritual boys. Um, I can only fuck with spiritual boys, and <laughs> and the ones who really about to really be doing some spiritual shit. Like y'all really got some big missions. It's the only ones the spirits allowing me to fuck because the other ones. I can't fuck them because I will cause like it's too like you know what I mean like I have a responsibility and this this divine tool has cannot be used in rage on everybody and remember I am a recce practitioner so all my body is is recce infused and so I have to be very conscientious of giving people recce because some people that recce energy can just destroy them and bring their life tumbling down right and especially if they get in it from the portal itself uh, he might fuck around get schizophrenia or some shit and I can't be responsible for that especially if he's not gonna be tapping into his spirits and shit you know he want to be in the matrix in program I gotta keep him that way and let him be that way so i can't you know be doing that to certain boys because then they'll be getting hospitalized and shit like that and be on the street and tweaking and shit you know like, what the fuck happened in here oh because he done got some of that coochie so i gotta be very careful <laughs> i gotta be very careful <laughs> okay i gotta be very 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 careful all right hey i love me some sexy red i love sexy red the more i see her the more i hear her talk the more i love her i'm like this is a that's the bitch that i'd hang out with all day that's my type of bitch like that's my dream bestie right where you she got kids you got kids you go to her house, she got the kids, it's Capri Suns and shit. And y'all have y'all a good ass time. She chill, you chill. Y'all both looking like this. Like what? Y'all better say something. Bitch, say something. Y'all create, y'all have fun, y'all childish. Okay. Y'all play in niggas' faces all day. Y'all troll niggas. That's how y'all flirt. We flirt by tr I troll niggas all day. That's how I flirt. <laughs> What is that coquettish? Cause I be crack. I be like, hello. <laughs> it be so fun when when I'm comfortable with y'all. When y'all real cool. But if y'all creepy, I be like, I want to get out y'all energy away from y'all so fast. And you know, I'm be anxious. Like I'm already anxious as fuck. Like I'm an anxious girl. I'm such an anxious girl. Um, unless I'm, I'm high, then I then I'm just stuck. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but yes, yeah, so be remembering of 
the crazies that's coming. And so we'll go back and watch some of those Venus retrograde videos. Um, because we did some like real good deep, deep. We got deep into the trenches of learning about myself and how I, how I look at myself and navigate love and relationships. And now coming back as Libra, we're getting into that Libra full moon soon. Um, looking at like, you know, comfortable with who I am. Right, we was listening to Cozy at that time. Comfortable with who I am. I love myself, goddamn Cozy. Being thick, being fine, still ten. The um, right. Do I love the fuck I'm gonna 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 you say? I need to listen to Renaissance again. Oh yeah, cause I've been stuck on all up in your mind. I try to get all up in your mind. Is my love a cry? Boy, I want to give mine. I'll make you mine. <laughs> I really love you. You know I love you. Tell my I do it for you. <laughs> okay, let your mama know. I love you more than her. <laughs> I got your back more than her. <laughs> <laughs> right or die more than her okay tell my i do it for you <laughs> my i behold you this kitty always wants you i'm the only one for you you're mine okay because these when well, these unions come these exes honey these exes finna act a goddamn fool one gonna gonna be withholding uh, uh, properties and shit. One wanna destroy properties. One gonna stalk. The other gonna be cyber attacking. Listen, I told you a bitch gonna have her uh, gonna have uh fake accounts and shit, just staring at you, watching you, lurking you. Okay. And if you don't stop. This is a warning. Someone's gonna voice in your food. Someone's getting taxed on your door. Someone better pray for you. Someone's gonna in your house. Someone's gonna bum 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 bum. And someone's gonna ba 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 and da 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 ha ha oh whoa have you ever heard the story oh about the mafia chain oh said big papa got shot a long, 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 long time ago. Oh, whoa. <laughs> he left me with a throng. It seems like everyone wants blood. If you don't, she said, everybody wants my blood and if you don't stop someone's gonna open the door this is a warning <laughs> this is a warning i don't know why this was like an alter ego that came right <laughs> this was an alter ego under his eye honey Okay, Black Parade. Okay. Okay. I charge my crystals and I full moon. I'm a sister, I'm a sister, and sing a goon. Got me out here ripping, give me a. Nigga, we don't need a warning. When the face beats on your picket fence, take it as a warning. <laughs> okay you guys i'm about to i feel nauseous i want to throw up now 
and I got a headache. I got to stop. And I want to get in. You know, my uncle got cholesterol medicine that I, he got to take. He got like one pill of his cholesterol. But I don't feel like getting out the bed. Like, I don't feel like getting out of this van, going, open their door, going in to give him that cholesterol medication. Like, I kind of just want to... <laughs> Like, I kind of just wanted, like, all right, you, you ain't got to get your cholesterol today. Like, we'll get your cholesterol together tomorrow. <laughs> Let that be tomorrow. Like, <laughs> I just don't feel like getting back up. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm such a deadbeat. Like, oh, my God. These two, like, these two elderly is going to be the death of me. I told them, like, <laughs> y'all to sit down. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, like, they two toddlers. Like, he fell today and shit because he wanted to walk in his walker. He's so persistent on his walker. And I told him, I said, you know, I said, I really think that you should, um, that you should just, you know, stick to your wheelchair. I said, your wheelchair, you do really good going to the bathroom with your wheelchair. Whereas with the walker, you always seem to fall. So can we please just stay in the wheelchair? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that'll be much better. I'm like, yes. Please, please, please. <laughs> and then my aunt talking about she fell out the bed last night. Child, <laughs> she fell out the bed, which made my uncle fall out the bed. So they both was falling out the bed at like two in the morning. Two, three in the morning, y'all. <laughs> and I'm so glad they didn't call me because I was not home. <laughs> I was not at home. Okay, two and three o'clock in the morning, they falling. <laughs> I said, how did you get back in the bed? My uncle's like, I had to get my foot on a wall and then I had to launch my foot <laughs> to the chair. <laughs> like... You, and I was like, you see, this is why I said, this is me. I was like, you see, this is why I say you should have gotten the bed last night. And you should have just let me just got you in the bed and we would have had this problem. <laughs> and they like, no, we got it. We got it. And I was like, please, the next time y'all y'all fall, please call me. She was like, no. I was like, we is not going to call her this time. We is not. And we is not going to call the ambulance. <laughs> she was like, we not. We just not. And I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just like, I cannot leave them unattended. I can't leave them. I can't leave them out my sight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I just became a mother to a married couple, honey. I'm raising them. And you know, elderly is just so hard-headed, honey. They so hard-headed. But I do like that he gets in his chair and stuff, in, from his chair to his wheelchair. And I'm like, that's good. Enough with the walker. And then the other walker I had got him, his nerves, you know, because the chemo got his nerves, so he can't like he can't have usage in his hands like he used to, and so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like sinus pressure. All the crazy shit I keep doing to myself. Where that mop at? Is it in the bed? It's in the bed somewhere. Sleep. Like mop, you better go to sleep. <laughs> When these lights go out, it's night night for both of us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, like uh it's so cute. I might keep it as a pet. <laughs> um I will come get up under these covers. But yes. So I just I just thought about how cool that full circle moment was of the the Venus retrograde and just seeing how like from from my self esteem and my self worth from there to propel to here because now I'm like sir what you're going to do is see me in the, in these leggings okay and what you're going to do. <laughs> 
and send me in my ugly little workout shoes, my little hiking shoes. And what you gotta do is get me naked and get in that bed and I'm gonna go sleep with you, okay? And what you gonna do, right? Hey, like what you gonna do is, is give me something to eat, some takeout and shit. We gonna door dash some shit and and give me some weed. Just give give me weed. Like that's all I want. <laughs> you don't have to make this more difficult than it than needs to be. Just give me the weed, sir. And lay down and give me some dick. <laughs> I want to be in bed. I want to sleep. I want to cuddle it. Okay? I need to see if I could sleep with you. Not sleep. Sex sleep with you. I need to see if I could sleep with you. Because to me, if I could sleep with a man, I could trust him. If I sleep good with him, oh, we're married. <laughs> We're married. If I could go to sleep with you, <laughs> if I could feel, if I could hang out with you all day and just do absolutely nothing, then that means I could be in a relationship with you, because I don't do that with niggas. Okay, I don't. I do everything else with a nigga than than spends quality time with them. Okay, I don't spend quality time with niggas like that. Like if I can't spend the day and have like a really good ass time with you, like I did that with um with the uh with the king of cups but the thing about the king of cups it was kind of like it was no vibe like it was kind of awkward like uh but i just thought that was like a language barrier thing but nah we just it just wasn't it the sex was good though sex we had good sexual chemistry i'll say that but we didn't have regular chemistry like that and that's why I know this one, this one it because I could just be on the phone with him. We'd be phone all day. I could be on the phone with him all goddamn day, and I hate being on the fucking phone. <laughs> so, yeah, I could be on the phone with him. Just sit, just straight chilling. I could just stare at his ass, and that's why I'd be so. You know, I'm I'm anxious and I'm an overthinker, and sometimes I'd be overthinking even being like on Facetime. And I'd be like, just wanting to stare at him. I'm like, oh my god, do he think I'm boring? Oh my god, he do he think I should be like talking? Oh my god, like should I say something? Oh my god, like I just want to stare at him. Oh my god, I'm so speechless. Like I don't want to say nothing. Oh my god, I'm gonna just say something. Oh my god, should I say something? Oh my god, like do he want me to say something? Oh my god, do he think I'm boring? Oh my god, does other girls do other girls be giving him make making him laugh on Facebook? Like oh my god, does does oh my god like <laughs> and then I say something. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm thinking in my head, oh my god, stupid, why did you ask him that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like, what do I do? How do I look? Oh my god, I want to look at myself. Oh my god, how do I look right now? Like, but well, I can't stop looking at him. Should I keep looking at him or should I look at something else? Should I look somewhere else? Should I do something else? Should I what? I'd be like in my head thinking 10,000 things. Huh. Is this what it is to be smitten? <sighs> One week, I'm just like, oh, I hate that man. I don't ever hate him, but I'll just be like, oh. I want to be a woman. I want to watch that live performance, Charlie Wilson. And Fantasia and do that in honor of my cousin. Cause she loves her son Charlie Wilson. I'ma miss her because she <laughs> all day I gotta take on the legacy as a class clown in the family. Cracking jokes and shit, you know. <laughs> I might close my eye and just be like this for them. <laughs> they be like, why you close your eye? Like it's in honor and then <laughs> Is it honor her? I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> oh, people been pissing me off because people been coming and talking about like, oh, she told us this, that, and the third. I had a conversation with her, da 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 da. da. Um, and we looking like as the family, we're like, okay, well, if she was confiding in y'all, telling y'all this, that, and the third. Then why y'all didn't tell us? Why y'all just now saying something to us? 
And y'all saying, oh my God, this, that, that, she said, blah, 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 blah. Why y'all didn't tell the family? A lot of our A lot of our close loved ones that severe addiction, a lot of them are passing away this year. They're just dropping, passing out on on the floor, on the ground. A lot of white kids is just passing out. Like all in South Central, they be passed out. That's another reason why Spirit got me out of South Central. Because there's a lot of white kids in South Central that's drug addicts. And one thing I know is, honey, I can I do not trust a drug addict white person, okay? A white person hooked on drugs, bitch, that keep me the far the fuck away from them. I don't know what spirits, ancestors, what they summoning. And what happens when they see me? Bitch, but keep them far the fuck away from me. It was so many of them now. Because there's so many crack houses of them. They be living in these crack houses. It be all these white folks in these crack houses on fucking on Expo. Over there near Normandy. Before you get to like Vermont. You know, them little houses over there. Mm -mm. And they be walking. They got, you know, they got their drug dealers and shit over there. So they be walking and shit. Passing out, honey. Strung out on Western. Now, y'all know. White kids be drug addicts in the Palisades. They stay on their side of town and be drug addicts. Now, bitch, they, they in the hood. And we looking at them like, what y'all doing over here? But a lot of them come from USC. A lot of them motherfuckers come from USC. And so they done got hooked up on drugs and they don't know what to do, bitch. <laughs> but they in South Central, bitch. Tweak. All I see is white kids on the bus stop tweaking. It was like the last week or two that I was... Like the last... It was really this year that shit changed, right? That I started to see an influx of white kids just tweaking. Now, we don't, we had like three crackheads that you know in the neighborhood, in the hood, right? You know, the one dude with his pretty eyes, but he been gone for years. Got the other dude who had the basket, he washes the cars. And you got another dude who, who digs in the trash to get the cans. Uh, this is the neighborhood crackheads that you know. They, 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 you know, they got family somewhere around here. You know, they, they trust. They, they were, they were, were on drugs. They're just now dealing with the after effects of it, things like that. But now there's so many white kids tweaked out walking the streets constantly, and now there's a lot of Asians who moved to South Central too, all within these last few months, right? A lot of them buying up these homes and things like that and being developers. And a lot of USC Congress people is, is taking over you, is th that South Central area. Um, but I had to get the fuck up out of that. I had to get the fuck up out of there because of that. Okay. Now I live where a lot of uh, alcoholics are. So like people who are recovering alcoholics. So a lot of these people, they ain't, they don't do drugs no more. They don't do drugs or they don't drink anymore. So now they just recovered. Um, I'm in that area. So I'm in the recovery area now. Like we, we all recovered. We all rehab. We in rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. I'm no longer in the drug, drug land, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know why I told y'all that. I don't know.
but it's cool again to see how I flourished in my self love. And so during that Venus retrograde, I guess that I thought that that Venus retrograde was preparing me to be in a relationship, in a union. But what it really did was prepare me to be in love with myself, and it guided me towards being deeper, deeper in love with myself by stop trying to be everything I think this nigga needs me to be to be a suitor instead of just being like I'm fantastic I'm fan the fucktastic as I am I'm a fucking amazing woman if you don't want me then then goodbye but if you do great and treat me with love respect and 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 all the gushy things and come give me a hug and come cuddle with me okay that's what I want I don't want y'all whining and dying I what how I wanted to be whining and dying is through some weed and cuddling and some kisses okay i want cuddling experiences like it raining give, give us a nice little spot you know it's raining and then we have the windows open and then we just listen to the rain you know put on some little lo-fi and you just in my shit okay making babies and shit that's what i, I want to lay down with a nigga that's what i want to do I want to lay down with a nigga. That's it. I just want to lay down. Like, baby. <laughs> baby. Like, I'm tired. You tired. <laughs> okay. You tired. I'm tired. I don't want to be around folks. I don't want to be out in public. I don't want to be with the hustle and bustle. I just want to lay down. I don't want nobody to see me. I don't want to see nobody to see you. I don't want to have no clothes on. Okay. The only type of skin. Skin, the only thing I want worn is you. Is your skin on my body? That's the only thing. <laughs> I just want to sleep. I told y'all how I want my proposal. All I want my proposal is is some flowers, and you know, some flowers and a blunt, and, and put the ring on the blunt. It could be in front of a nice view if you want, but it could also be during cuddle session. Whisper in my ear, marry me, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's so romantic. <laughs> so fucking romantic. Like, I feel so relieved that I don't have to show up and be anything other than me. And what I am is a bitch who just want to sit down and chill. I just want to sit down. I don't want to be miss overachiever i'm not striving no this is how i'm going to do the rest of my life maybe i'm still going to accomplish things that doesn't mean i'm going to be a bum bitch no <laughs> never <laughs> never that um but i do just want to sit down somewhere okay i'm not <laughs> i'm not trying to do all of that okay i ain't in no competition <laughs> none of it Okay, literally just wanting to sit my black ass down somewhere and cuddle with my nigga. Okay, and shit, you don't even have to get a babysitter, my nigga. Like, shit, I don't care. <laughs> just, I just want to lay down. <laughs> That's it. Like, you could come here. You could come here and lay down with me. Okay? <laughs> All I want to do is lay down. <laughs> All I want to do is do the zoom, zoom, zoom. I don't want to go hiking. He go hiking with all them other bitches all the fucking time. All he do is hike with bitches. I don't want to be another one you hike with. Just <laughs> let me lay down. That's <laughs> it. Let me lay down. I don't want to look at another fucking painting. I don't want to go to no fucking museum. I want to lay down. Let's just lay down. Lay down. That's it. And smoke. And maybe take some shrooms. You got me your ass friend. I want you to me all the time. Okay, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.